Thank you, Mr. Garcetti, um, and uh, appreciate uh, all of you that are here today. And I think the bottom line is Mr. Garcetti spoke about all of you are here to save animals' lives. That's the most important thing, that we all have the same goal. And uh, we may think there are different ways to get there. Mr. Box, I asked you a couple questions ahead of time um, about this because people are passionate. And, and like my colleagues, uh, my, my dog out from the East Valley, uh, which is no longer now in your district, but uh, was in my district on Sherman Way, um, my dog um, named Tuffy. Um, <laughs> was our dog, um, which we got from the pound. Um, and it, I, I still remember distinctly at four years old going in and seeing all of the animals that were there and um, asking that difficult question of my parents, what was going to happen to all those animals? And uh, they sidestepped it. They didn't really answer it. Um, and I think that we don't want to see um, a, a shelter that because there are too many animals that we've not been able to do it. And the humane way is to, um, to provide this spay and neutering, to encourage people to do the responsible thing and have options. And there are exceptions. I mean, this is not a hard and fast. And then if people feel very strongly about it, they do have options, whether through that permit or through those um, free, you know, uh, certificates that do that. And this is a way in which I think the city has looked at, and thank you, Mr. Alicone, and I know Ms. Cardis have both worked on these issues for a long time, of designing something that is going to be able to serve our population and ultimately save animals' lives. And so I support the ordinance of before us today. Thank you, Mr. President.